According to a Bloomberg study, an examination of foreign capital flow into Israel shows a near tripling from 2005 when the so-called BDS was started. Israel's economy is expected to grow 2.8% in 2016 compared with 1.8% for the US and the European Union. In 2015, Israel's industrial high-tech exports rose 13% from 2014 to $23.7 billion. Israeli startups raised $3.76 billion last year from non-Israeli investors, the highest annual amount in a decade. Foreign investors spent an additional $5.89 billion acquiring Israeli startups, including a Chinese $510 million purchase of Israel's Luminous, followed by a U.S. private equity firm's $438 million buyout of Click Software Technologies. Car manufacturing giant Ford, which is determined to develop a driveless car by 2021, just made its first acquisition in Israel, acquiring a computer vision and machine learning startup for several tens of millions of dollars. General Motors announced the tripling of the personnel in its Israeli Research and Development Center, which has developed a number of technologies enhancing GM's competitive edge in the global market. Germany's Volkswagen concluded a $300 million strategic partnership agreement with Israel's taxi-hailing application startup GetTaxi. According to Cisco's chairman, John Chambers, Israel is truly a startup nation, ahead of every other country in innovation. Cisco operates four research and development centers in Israel, employing 2,000 people, has acquired 13 Israeli companies, invested $150 million in 30 Israeli startups, and $60 million in four Israeli venture capital funds. According to Warren Buffett, if you're going to the Middle East to look for oil, you can skip Israel. However, if you're looking for brains, look no further. Eric Schmidt, Google's executive chairman, is a frequent investor in Israel's high-tech via his own private venture capital fund, Innovation Endeavors. According to Schmidt, Israel is the most important high-tech center in the world after the USA. Recently, Google established a large engineering and sales center in Israel. Hewlett Packard operates eight research and development centers in Israel. Intel is another of 250 global high-tech giants that have research and development centers in Israel. Intel has four research and development centers and two manufacturing plants in Israel and has also invested in 80 Israeli startups. The Wall Street Journal reported that Steve Ballmer, former Microsoft CEO, calls Microsoft as much an Israeli company as an American company because of the importance of its Israeli technologies. Google, Cisco, Intel, Microsoft, and eBay all live and die by the work of their Israeli teams. Israel is the most cost-effective laboratory of the U.S. research and manufacturing establishments, producing win-win, mutually beneficial ties with the U.S. commercial and defense industries. The U.S., China, Europe, Russia, and India are actively soliciting high-tech cooperation with Israel. India and Israel have negotiated a free trade zone, which will increase their current $5 billion trade balance. Israel is second only to Russia in the exportation of military systems to India. Chinese investments in Israel surged from $70 million in 2010 to $2.7 billion in 2015.
2015. The China-Israel trade balance grew from $30 million in 1990 to $6 billion in 2009 and over $11 billion in 2015. George Gilder, a high-tech guru and the author of The Israel Test, wrote in the Wall Street Journal that the U.S. defense and prosperity increasingly depend on the economic and technological power of Israel. We need Israel as much, as much as Israel needs us. Israel is the global master of microchip design, network algorithm, and medical instruments, water recycling, and desalination, missile defense, robotic warfare, and unmanned aerial vehicles. IBM just made its 11th Israeli acquisition. Sequoia Capital, one of the world's leading venture capital funds, introduced its fifth Israeli dedicated $200 million fund. Hong Kong's $22.5 billion, Sir Li Kai Shing, the ninth wealthiest person in the world, made his seventh Israeli investment. Camp China acquired 60% of Israel's Agan for $1.44 billion. Germany's Siemens acquired solar energy Solel for $418 million and 40% of Arava power for $15 million. Apple made its first Israeli acquisition, its first research and development center outside the USA, acquiring Israel's Anobit for $400 million. The Dallas-based DG acquired MediaMind for $517 million. In 2016, investment in Israel's high-tech may exceed the $4.43 billion raised in 2015, which was 30% over 2014. The value of mergers and acquisitions and IPOs climbed to over $9 billion in 2015. The next video will highlight Western attempts to seduce Israel to depart from its traditional national security policies.